I'm so excited to see you all here. Um, we cannot do what we do without you. This year alone, there have been 14,987 hours of volunteer service provided by you. Volunteers established this organization in the 1860s. They were, they were volunteers. And volunteers today lead this organization. Our, our board of directors, they're, they're volunteers. They, I work for volunteers. I think that part of the reason why people volunteer or come together to be helpful to one another is because we all know that we're vulnerable human beings and we need each other to find solid ground. Volunteer New York has helped to reimagine and renew the volunteer program post-pandemic. They're a connector and they connect organizations and people and meaningful relationships comes out of volunteering. At Volunteer New York, we know that our community is full of individuals that want to help others, but they need a pathway to turn these good intentions into action. Volunteer New York is proud to be that pathway. Next, I'm going to announce the Claudia Brigman Volunteer of the Year Award, and that goes to Maria Neidhart. She describes volunteering as a way to help any way I can. In experiencing the most rewarding and fulfilling feeling, we are so grateful to call Maria our friend. Nothing gives me greater joy than to see people sing. On the back of my business card, it says, it's not how you sing, it's that you sing. Because you can't feel poopy when you're singing the song. I was asked to present this award to someone very special who not only lives here at Watford, but serves as a volunteer in many ways. Sister Angela, as we... <laughs> We just are so grateful for the time and energy and experience and love that you share with us as a volunteer. So thank you for being a part of the Warburg family and we hope we'll see you next year. Thank you for all